big news today for the channel and a product unboxing. So stick around. What's up? Jim here. Welcome back to J Street Moto. Welcome to the channel if it's your first time. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, click the notification bell, share it with your friends. All that stuff is absolutely free to you and it helps the channel, believe it or not. On that note, this is a pretty special episode. I wanna first start out by thanking every single one of you that have subscribed to the channel and that have ever watched any of my videos. I really do. The channel is growing and that's a good thing. We are at 838 subscribers. Uh, I started getting contacted by different manufacturers that make stuff that we would use as writers. I've been very selective about the products and the companies that I decided to put my name with. Kemi Moto, if you guys watch Cycle Fanatics at all, you'll know they're one of his sponsors. Uh, Kemi Moto reached out to me a few weeks ago and after some back and forth emails, they wanted to collaborate. They wanted to do a collaboration video with me. And I was like, hell yeah, I'm, I'm down with that. I looked at the products that they had available. And one of the ones they had available was a piece of luggage, waterproof luggage. To put things in perspective, the current waterproof luggage I'm using on the motorcycle when I take my trips probably has about 40,000 miles on it. And if you can, you know, use your imagination, the bag got stinky. And so it's, it's, I was gonna need to get a new bag anyway because the wife and I, this is Sunday, this coming Friday, the wife and I are taking our first two up overnight trip. And when you see this video on Tuesday, that will be the Tuesday before that Friday. So you're, you're right here in line with us. So I responded to Kimmy Moto and I told them, I was, and I was speaking to Kira there, if she's watching this, thanks for reaching out to me. Um, I reached out to them and said, you know what, I take that piece of luggage because my wife and I are getting ready to take a two-up trip for the first time. I think that's going to be the perfect thing to put on the bike and allow us to be able to take this trip. We're going to unbox it now. This is, came in a very good box. Got delivered on a Sunday, by the way, which is impressive. I will put the link in the description of this video for this specific product. I will. Um, that way, if you guys wanna order it, you're welcome to go down there and order it. I don't get anything for it. I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not a brand ambassador for Kimimoto. They're not sponsoring this video. I should start it off by saying that. They asked me to pick a product and do an honest review. So that's what I'm going to do is an honest review of this product. The first video I'm gonna do is an unboxing and my initial impressions of what they sent me, just so that you guys know. And like I said, everything, the product that I'm reviewing right now is gonna be linked to in the description of this video. You're welcome to go there. I don't know if there's gonna be any kind of discount code or not. If there is, I will list it in the description as well. All right, but like I said, this is not a sponsored video. They wanted me to give an honest review of one of their products. So this is their 50 liter waterproof bag. Uh, it's motorcycle luggage. I already like it. It's got a lot of reflective bits on it, which is great when you are traveling. It has a lot of extra, these are my initial thoughts, has a lot of extra places for you to hook stuff and connect to things. It has some straps to use. We'll figure out what those are for. I'm guessing it's to use those to connect it to the bike. Uh, and it's like any other, basically it's like any other waterproof bag. You're going to open it, you're gonna load it, and then you're gonna roll it down, seal it, and then slap it on your motorcycle. Now, when I open the inside of it, oh, that's cool. 
like that too. It comes with a detachable shoulder strap. So you can hook that to the bag and throw it over your shoulder when you're going into the hotel. One complaint I already have about this bag, and I don't know that it's gonna be an issue yet. I'm perceiving it's gonna be an issue. We're going two up. That means this bag is gonna be on a luggage rack on top of my fender behind the sissy bar. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to attach it to the sissy bar without any problems. The concern I have is there's nothing rigid on the bottom of the bag. And I don't want to have something that is hanging off my fender like that, scratching the tops of my saddlebags. So I don't know. I won't know if that's even an issue until I filled the bag up and physically mounted it on the bike. So for now, I'm just making a note of that and saying it to you is something that I recognized initially. Some of the other things about this bag, it has a pouch on the inside that is mesh and zippered so you can put stuff in there that you need more easy access to. Think like maybe eye drops, uh, chapstick, sunblock, that kind of stuff that you don't wanna go digging all the way through all of your crap that's packed in here while you're sitting on the side of the road. You just wanna be able to open the bag up and access it. It has something in there that does that, which I like because my other bag does not have that. This feels to be bigger than the current setup that I have. The opening works very well and it stays open. What I'll say is the other bags, I've had other bags like this and top always keeps clothes on you. So you can't easily load your stuff in after you have it packed up the way that you want it, after you have it folded the way that you want it. You have to keep constantly futzing with this thing. This one seems to have that problem solved and I like that. I do like that. So yeah, it's got a Velcro attachment across this pouch at the top, but it doesn't go the whole length. That way air will squeeze out as you roll it down to, you know, wherever your clothes end and then connect it to these connectors here, which make it waterproof. For you guys, when I put these, when I use a bag like this and I load it on the bike, I always load it on the bike so that the roll is facing away from the direction the bike travels. To me, that makes more sense. I'm an old Navy guy, I was on a submarine, so I do know a little bit about keeping water out of things. That makes more sense to me than having it facing this way and potentially, if it rains really hard, water getting up in here. So yeah, initial impressions, this thing is pretty cool. I like it. I think it's gonna work well for our needs. It's certainly easy to figure out kind of what you need to do with it. They also have these straps here that go over, they go from the front to the back. You could probably use those. I'm probably gonna use those. For anything that I put on top of the bag that is outside exposed to the weather. Good way to put it. So that's, that's actually a pretty cool feature. My other bag doesn't have that. All of the straps have a rubber or like a, a rubberized kind of sleeve that covers the strap so it's not flapping around and beating against you or your motorcycle. So yeah, all in all, initial impressions on this bag, I really like it. Like I said, I'm gonna have the link down in the description of this video. Feel free to check it out. There appear to be several mounting points on the bag. You can mount it from the sides down, or you can mount it from the, the front and back down. I'm probably gonna be mounting it using these rings here and these rings here, because I'll be mounting it to a luggage rack and my sissy bar, and I want those straps going this way lengthwise to the bike instead of something going this way lengthwise to the bike. 
uh, for sure, 100%, no doubt in my brain, this bag would work perfect if it was sitting on the passenger seat behind me, which is how I normally do my setup. I'm interested in seeing how this works when I have a passenger behind me and this has to go on the fender. So yeah, hope you found this useful. Check out the product. Uh, I'll be doing another video. Most likely gonna drop a week from this one that uh, shows you how I packed it, how I put it on the bike and give you an initial review of it after I finish the trip to let you know how it did. Yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, I really appreciate all the subscribers. We're almost at a thousand guys. But yeah, a week from today, the video will drop that shows you how I loaded this for two people to take a trip, how I put it on the bike for two people to take a trip, and give you a brief review of what I thought about how the bag performed while it was on that trip. Uh, again, like, subscribe, click the notification bell, share it with your friends, all that stuff's free to you and helps the channel. Thank you, thank you for watching, and always, ride safe. Yeah, ready? One, two, three, shoot. Ah. Asshole. Really? <laughs> Peace out, bitches! <laughs>